T.P. Jagger here with the Three Minute Writing Teacher. I'm going to share a simple way to help you deal with a problem most writers face. Overused words. Have you ever watched an athlete get interviewed after a game and had your ears tortured by something like 8 million you knows per minute? You know, something like this. You know, it's never an easy game coming in here. Uh, you know, we certainly had pucks and chances and uh, you know, we just got to dig a little bit deeper. And of course, there are all other sorts of pet words people toss about in their conversations. The likes, ums, ahs, basicallys, literallys, and well, you know. Just like most of us overuse words or phrases when we speak, we also tend to overuse them when we write. And it's not always easy to spot our own writing quirks. That's why I'm going to share a quick trick to help you identify and avoid words and phrases you're overusing in your writing. For me, it all started when I realized I had a lot of characters with dry eyeballs, loose heads, and preoccupations with flashing their dental hygiene. I was minding my own business, polishing a story, when I made a fateful move. I punched Control F on my keyboard, using words find function to hunt for stare and staring. Those two words weren't just spicing up my manuscript, they were drying out my character's eyes and quite possibly giving them a somewhat psychotic appearance. I mean, geez, the characters really need to stare 60 times in a 50,000 word story. Delete, revise, administer eye drops. Next, I check their heads. Control F, nod. 31 times? Delete, revise, send characters to chiropractor. I sat back and breathed a satisfied sigh. My story was tighter, stronger, ready for what is the deal with Grandpa Willie's teeth? Sure, my story had a quirky step grandpa whose default facial expression was a smile. But did I always have to tell the reader about it? How many smiles and grins could there possibly be before someone noticed a piece of spinach stuck between my character's teeth? Yeah. When I discovered three characters combining for five smiles on a single page, I knew I had a problem. Delete, revise, floss. I found myself on Wordle, which highlights frequently used words by creating a word cloud for a section of text. More often a word is used, the larger it appears in the cloud. I pasted in all 50,000 words of my story. The next thing I knew, Overused words and descriptions were flying from my manuscript like chickens fleeing from a feather pillow factory. Goodbye then, minus 47. And adios just, minus 46. And look, minus 22. And glance, minus 40. There are plenty of different word cloud generators available online. Two of my favorites are Worded Out and Wordle. Both are free and they're easy to use. In the end, my 50,000 word story got whittled down to less than 49,000 words. And those words that got deleted? I didn't miss any of them. It was enough to make me smile and nod. But now I might not tell you that's what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep up to date when there's new videos from the 3 Minute Writing Teacher, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in the meantime, go ahead and check out some of my other videos.